Welcome to the arena. In this map, two teams face off from bases on opposite ends of the arena. Players will fight in the middle of the arena in a brawling death match, where your goal is to defeat enemy gods and their minions by reducing their team ticket count to zero. Average game time is around 18 minutes. Each team starts with 500 tickets, though in this tutorial we will be starting with 100. Killing an enemy player deducts five tickets from the enemy team. Killing an enemy minion deducts one ticket from the enemy team. Helping a friendly minion reach the portal on the enemy side of the map also deducts one ticket from the enemy team. Once your team has killed ten enemy players, a juggernaut spawns for your team. Escorting him into the enemy portal deducts 15 tickets from the enemy team. In Arena, players start at level 3 with 1500 gold and have accelerated gold and XP advancement. As a hunter, you deal great damage to enemies, but you should always stay back and out of melee range, dealing your damage from a safe distance. Hunters rely heavily on core damage items to be effective and augment their basic attacks. The first thing you should do is purchase items. Press I to open the store and acquire your... This view is your recommended tab and shows items most likely to help you in your role. One of these items is Light Blade, which increases your damage and the speed of your basic attacks. Click on the item icon, then click the purchase button to buy it. At level 1, you can choose your first relic. Relics can be used like abilities, but don't require mana. Click the relic icon, select Meditation, and then click Purchase. Finally, let's buy a consumable item. Unlike relics, consumable items can only be used once. Select the healing potion and purchase that as well. Very good. These items will help you in your battles. Remember, there are other views in the shop. Click on the All Items tab now to see. You can use this view to search for other relics or consumables. Well done! The first task in the arena is to clear the creature buff camps gaining powerful enhancements for your team in the early game. Use the W, A, S and D keys to move, and use the mouse to turn. Use the mouse to aim, and press the left mouse button to fire Neath's bow. Fantastic! You should now return to the middle of the arena, where your minions are already clashing with the enemy. Each time you slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain experience or XP. Gain enough XP and you will level up, allowing you to unlock abilities. Press F1 to unlock Spirit Arrow, Neath's first ability. Your abilities will be trained automatically for you after this tutorial. Spirit Arrow is a line attack that can strike multiple enemies within its highlighted area. Press 1 to bring up the targeter. With the targeter visible, press the left mouse button to fire. Well done! You've acquired a lot of gold and it's time to head back to base, 
and purchase additional items from your recommended list. Complete your current item by purchasing its recommended Tier 3 rank. your portal. Another clean escape. Congratulations, you are now level 5 and have access to your Minions ultimate ability, have reached your which portal. is very important for team fighting. 
As Neath, keep your distance and try to aim each basic attack to ensure maximum damage. Use your Spirit Arrow and World Weaver Ultimate to snipe low health enemies trying to retreat. Now, try to defeat several enemy gods. The extra point earned will help secure your victory. Outstanding! You've learned the basic rules of Reef. 
So let's finish this match. Reduce the enemy team's tickets to zero to win.